Hey Libras and welcome to my channel. I am doing your love reading for April 2019. This is for singles and couples. I will be doing two separate readings. Your guys' energy is really strong. My face is all of a sudden itchy. Oh, Libras. All right. Let's get started. We will do singles first. Past, present, future energy, um, foundation, and uh, future outlook. So let's see what you guys have going on for April. Libra singles. All right. Your um, past energy is the Six of Wands in reverse. Your current energy is the Ace of Pentacles. Your future energy. is justice in reverse all right your guys's foundation is the king of cups and your guys's over overarching energy is the seven of cups okay bottom of the deck is the ace of wands could have a fire sign coming in very soon for you um but with your foundation being the king of cups you're coming out of a situation or um your the way you view um love is due to a past relationship that you're no longer in that you had um you adored this person you loved this person um this uh could have been with a fire sign in your past um that that didn't work out that really um there was a lot of like uh I want to say carnal energy. There's a lot of sexual desire between the two of you, um, but it, it just fell apart. It there was a lack of um, communication, a lack of there was something that that put a rift between the two of you. But you're kind of basing all your relationships um, since then on this person. Like you're trying to find a, somebody just like that person, but you can't replace. You know what I'm saying? This could be you or somebody that you were dealing with in the past, but I do pick this up as your energy. Um, Libra, you're just like in search of somebody just like that other person that you had that um, connection to that you were in this relationship with. Um, and and you're kind of coming to the uh, realization that there isn't going to be another, uh, another one of that person. You can't replace that person. Um, you do have something that, um, is solid coming in for you, uh, an opportunity to have a new beginning with somebody, um, that can bring you stability because you are here in the reverse, um, for you, Libra singles, you're just out of balance. Uh, it's going to be hard to maintain this relationship, this new opportunity coming in for you within the next month. Um, if you don't, if you don't find some balance within your own emotions, um, because this is a potential, uh, uh, life partner with the seven of cups. It is based. This person is going to, um, be good for you. They are stable. They are grounded. They are going to bring you stability. But in order for that to be successful, you're going to have to find yourself first, Libra. You got to find that balance. Um, you got to find that uh, your personal truth. Let's see here. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords, you have to find your own truth. You have to find what you it is that you really want. You have to know who you are before you can attract that person into you. This person is going to come in very fast, but they're going to exit just as, as fast if you can't kind of get a handle on uh, your emotions and what you want and, and heal over this past relationship that you're kind of comparing everybody to. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, this person, this new person is coming in for you singles within the next month. And it is going to be very successful. This is a life partner and or has the potential to be. But in, unless you um, unless you find that balance within your own um, mind, body, and soul, they're going to exit just as fast. So that's kind of just a heads up for you singles. So let's move on to you Libra couples. Whether that be the couple being you Libra or your partner's a Libra. Let's see what we got for oops. All right. King of Pentacles was your first card out. 
in your guys' current energy, you have the Two of Cups in reverse. In your future energy, oh, way too many. Okay, in your future energy. You guys have the Knight of Swords or the Knave of Swords. In your guys' foundation, you guys have the Magician in the reverse. And in your um, overarching energy, it's the Devil in reverse. Um, so, yeah, let me just get the messages here for you guys. Okay, so we're going to start out with your foundation for you couples. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini uh, or a Virgo, um, but it's the the foundation for this relationship. There's kind of some like uh, deception, not deception, but it's like you got this person on false pretenses, or this person got you on false pretenses. The truth, it wasn't. This relationship didn't come together based on truth. Um, they could be hiding something from you or you could be hiding something from them because it is in the reverse. Um, there's some manipulation here. Some, yeah, I don't like that energy. I'm going to clarify that right away. Why is the magician here in reverse? Is a magician here reverse for Libra couples? Thank you. Okay. Okay, so it's being clarified with the Emperor. So uh the Libra, if you are the female in this relationship, you could have a very dominant male in your life that um kind of uh, originally this person attracted to you because of their devotion because of their uh determination to get you to have you they wanted you uh they wanted you bad they'd do anything to get you um and now you uh they're becoming too controlling too they're all up in your shit all the time they have to know where you're at what you're doing where you know what's going on who you're talking to um so just be cautious of this energy when these two are together especially with the magician in reverse this person can have the tendency to get very controlling um very demeaning and um just be cautious because this is a lot of dominant male energy if you are the libra male don't be a dick <laughs> Sorry, but uh, don't. This is cautioning you to not be that controlling, uh, overbearing uh, person in the relationship. Um, if you are a male dealing with a female and you are not the one that's like super controlling and uh, has to have control of every situation or every movement in the relationship, then <coughs> excuse me. The person you um, are dealing with, they could have a male in their life. It could be a father figure or a grandfather who is very controlling about what about what their daughter does, about um, you know just their nose up in your guys's relationship. So, all right. So in your guys's past energy, you do have the king. You did have the king of pentacles. So um, this relationship was right off the bat very serious. Um, it, I mean, it went from like being attracted to each other to like moving in with each other very quickly. Um, and it, it feels like the inner, the female energy in here in this relationship. And I'm sorry if this does not apply to you, catch me next time. But like the, the female, the female in this relationship feels like in the past that they have no privacy. Like there's, I just keep hearing, um, they have to have, they have to know everything. Um, in your current energy, you do have the Two of Cups in reverse. I'm going to see what that's about. Why is the Two of Cups here in reverse for our, our Libra couples? Way too many. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, so um, like I said, you guys have the Two of Cups. So in the beginning, this relationship had a strong attraction. Um, the the uh, attraction could be fading because this was kind of based on sex. It was very physically attractive. Um, the one of you or both of you could not be sure if they want to continue to stay in this energy. Um, they could be preparing to leave very quickly or you could, Libra, um, because this was there wasn't really any... Uh, I don't want to say emotions because there is emotions behind like sexual desire, but like it was more lust than love. And now it's, it's kind of seeing where it's going. And one of you is not going to want to continue to, um, invest any feelings in this relationship in your guys's future. You do have the Knight of swords. Um, it looks, uh, for this group of you, uh, well, I'm going to get a clarifier before I say anything. Thank you. So, yeah, the clarifier is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, somebody's up in their head about continuing on. Is this really who I want to spend the rest of my life with? Is this really um, where I'm meant to be? Is this, you know, is this where I want to invest the, you know, the rest of my life? Um there's still that strong sexual connection, and I do see that uh, that one of you will more than likely leave the relationship because the devil is in reverse. Um, they're going to no longer feed into that uh, desire for sex and and be in search of something a little more stable instead of this um, just sexual. Uh, desire connection your bottom of the deck is a seven of swords but um yeah especially if you're dealing with a fire sign uh the the energy is going to be cut off between the two of you somebody's going to take action and um it looks like take or end this relationship but to tell you the truth libra if they're leaving you i don't see you too heartbroken um but if you are leaving the fire sign um yeah, really, neither one of you are going to take very long to move forward um, because this was just really very sexual. It's, it's, there's like not anything in common, but you know, the sex is good. So. Okay, let's see what we got for our Libra singles coming into April. Romance Angels, what do you see for our Libra singles? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra singles. Okay, you deserve love. You are lovable. Any other messages? Okay, so, um, okay, let's see what our messages are here. So, most definitely, you deserve love. Like I said, the this card for me always reminds me of the Archer, the Sagittarius. So, you could have be trying to get over a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. That's just one of the things as a reader that I get. Um, as that person that you're trying to get over or that you're comparing everybody to, because it was a Six of Wands. Um, Yeah, um, this person uh, had a lot of options. This person cut themselves away from the situation, leaving you feel like um, that you didn't deserve love, that this person couldn't didn't love you, this person left. Uh, and it's, it's really, um, you're just, I just see you comparing everybody to this person. All right. Children was your next card out with the three of swords in reverse. So, um, I mean, you do, you did, you were heartbroken when this person left. This absolutely devastated you. Um, they could have children not with you. And when the children left as well, when that person left, um, it really broke your heart. You are starting to mend that. You are starting to get through this heartache. You are going to uh, move forward. Um, and, and, uh, you are, yeah, ten of swords. You just feel devastated. Um, when the, when the children and this person left, or if you guys didn't have any children, um, 
or I mean, if you had children together, um, you were just heartbroken that you guys were no longer under the same roof. So you are going to get over this heartache of this betrayal. You are going to, um, find love again, but it's not going to be with that same person. So it's time to let that go. It's time to move forward and, um, heal that heart and look for new love. All right. Our Libra couples. What are our Libra couples? What's going on in April? Okay. Wow. Okay, your guys' first card out was trust. So the situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, I'm hearing faith in yourself. Um, faith that things are going to get better because, um, this situation is, this relationship is coming to an end. Like I said, for this group of you that I am picking up your energy on, you are going to, um, lay the burden of this relationship down. You are going to have trust, um, and faith in yourself in the future that true love and new love is coming in for you and that you should, because when you release this person, when you let this um, situation go and you trust that the universe will bring somebody in for you, that is exactly what they're going to do. Um, so your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you a life partner. Actually, you're going to have a lot of options coming in Libra. There will be more than one that are going to come into your energy, but one of them is your life partner. One of them is true love. One of them is going to, um, yeah, create a life with you is what I'm hearing. And your last card out was engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And the card that came out clear, excuse me, clarifying that is the two of cups. So not only is the universe not only when you lay the burden of this relationship down and trust that the universe knows what they're doing, trust that the universe is bringing in who they are meant to or who is meant to come into your life, but they are, you are calling in your soulmate life partner. Um, and this will quickly ascend into that soulmate connection. Um, this most definitely your next person coming in for this group of you. Um, this is who you will spend the rest of your life with most definitely. So this is a past life soulmate as well. I'm just hearing. So this is a, a relationship that you will um, manifest. You will call your soulmate in and trust that the universe is going to bring the right person in for you and watch as your love life ascends into a higher level of commitment. All right, Libra's got a little bit of tough energy going on right now, but look what you have coming in for you guys. So, all right. I hope you have a beautiful April in love. I send you love, light, and God bless.